the link to MTG Burgeoning's Introduction to Plane Chase in the description below. Bloodhill Bastion's static ability gives creatures double strike and haste whenever they enter the battlefield. Whenever you roll Chaos, exile target non-token creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under your control. Bloodhill Bastion wants creatures attacking quickly and for double the damage. If I were playing Plane Chase Commander, and I wanted to add Bloodhill Bastion to the planar deck, then I would construct an EDH deck headlined by evasive generals capable of delivering victory through lethal commander damage. The first general that comes to mind is Gulta Primal Hunger. As a 12-12 trampler, Gulta costs X less to cast, where X is the total power of creatures you control, meaning that Gulta could enter the battlefield way ahead of curve. Another option includes Emrakul, the Promised End. Casting her will not only put onto the battlefield a 13-13 flying, trampling, double-striking, and hasty Eldrazi, but you also gain control of target player during their next turn. Staying on theme with evasive one-shot capable creatures, we can also build around Kozlik the Great Distortion in another colorless EDH deck. Menace will prevent an opponent from blocking Kozlik with just one creature, and having a handful of counterspells helps protect him as well. If we are talking about one-shotting opponents with Blood Hill Bastion, then we can't forget to include Blightsteel Colossus to any of these builds. Providing double strike to this 11-11 Trampler can knock out an opponent with Infect Damage.